I'm hearing your call to watch a professional boxing event and see if there's any coaches here that might be willing to train me. I have to admit, actually, I'm feeling pretty nervous. The atmosphere is intense. It's an all-male show and the only woman I've actually seen so far is the card girl who was wolf whistled in between rounds. I'm going to head to Polici's down the road, which is one of the oldest cafes in Bethnal Green, and I'm told it's a hangout for boxers in the area. I've found plenty of boxers and coaches, but none of these big tough guys are willing to go on record with their views. Anna, who works here, is happy to talk, however, about a female boxer that used to come here. She was just obsessed with it. On a couple of occasions she'd come with her face completely black and blue, on one occasion she did break her jaw, but it didn't seem to bother her, where we'd be kind of shocked and like, oh my god, what have you done? And the more you'd comment on how bad her face looks or whatever, she almost seemed to delight in it. I have absolutely no urge to break my jaw, so I'm definitely going to get a full run through all the safety equipment and tips on how to avoid getting hit. None of the coaches here have agreed to train me, but I've been sent to a guy named Tony Cisse, who is apparently into all of that training girl stuff. I'm standing outside Tico Boxing Gym in Canning Town, East London. I'm down some industrial side street with tall cranes, boarded up houses, and a railway track. And I have to admit, I'm feeling pretty nervous. I'm about to meet Tony Cisse for my training session. Cisse explains to me how he came to train women boxers. My mum looked after us and she was like a man. She fought for us and there was National Front that used to live on our road. People that despise that colour, so you can imagine fights and the spitting at us. I'm seeing what my mum went through, being tough just like a man in outfit. She wanted a box, she'll be a good boxer. She's really taught me how to fight and why you should fight. For your family, for your rights, and I think women who want a box, I give that same right. is going to take me through all the safety equipment, the warm-up exercises, punching bags and sparring. Head guard it has to have a stamp to box in the Olympics. You have to have a stamp from Aiba saying boom, it's approved by them to box. So I'll get one of those and then I'll get some gloves. There again, it'll be the same with the gloves, be the stamp on the gloves to say approved by Aiba to box. Any amateur sport has to have that stamp. So it's head guard, gloves. Yeah. Do you have padding underneath the gloves? Yeah, you'd have safe padding underneath the gloves to protect you. Okay, so I'm putting the head guard on. Right. Do you get it specially fitted? No, you don't get it specially fitted. What you do is you undo your head and it will slide slip down. And then you'd have a groin protector. Women wear that as well, do they? I think they have to, but I don't really would recommend it where women have wounds and things like that. Also, it protects you from good shots. So you hit it above the midriff? Yeah, you've got to hit the club there. You can't hit on it in that area, but sometimes that happens. Mm. Yeah, so you've got that. And um, do you wear a mouth guard? Mouth cuff as well, that's the most important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You do want to smile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get it properly fitted. Yeah, properly fitted, and then you've got the boxing boots. Nice, clear, and comfortable boxing boots. How do they dip the trainers? I mean, I can see that they're lighter, they're thinner. Yeah, and they're flatter to the floor. So what happens with trainers, they're all bulked up. So what happens is you're moving around, you do yourself an injury. Just by turning and twisting your ankle, because they're so high up the ground. You've got the boots, the groin protector, mouth guard, the head protector. The head and then your kit, your kit. colours, your club colours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colors. So what are the club colours for here? The club colours are black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black, black and yellow. In terms of safety, other than the equipment, how else can I protect myself in the ring? Going to a good club, having a good coach to master the art of boxing. Are you fully trained in the first aid? First aid, yes. You know, all the coaches are first aiders. And would you call an end to about if you felt that someone was at risk? I mean, if you felt that someone was being pummeled? Yeah, you have to, because the main thing is the safety. And what are the rules then? Are they the same for men and women? Same, same. I think the women would do two minutes instead of three minutes. In competitions, you know, two twos. Now it's gone up to three threes for men. So I think they've still got the women as two, three, two minutes. It's just about a points based kind of game in terms of where are you aiming for? You're aiming for the target area. So it's between from your head 
to the waist. That is your target area, yeah? The target area is from anywhere from here, there, here, and your waist. That is it. What about women's breasts? I mean, is that an aim or is that just... That's a... an aim, yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's an aim. It's got to be, you know what I mean? Because it's a part of that area. But you've got to remember that women are breast protectors. And when women get into a sport and they really do get to like it, they lose their breast size anyway. If I'm coaching anybody, girl or boy, would make sure they've got their stance right. Being in on guard position, imagine there's a line going through that leg. So your toe to toe, heel to heel. So that will be your base position. So see the line, what your front foot forward. That's it, ready? More base, more base, that's it. So what you're gonna do now, now you're gonna practice that jab. Yeah, that jab. Now you do it nice and slow. Boom, 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 block me. So just say, I'll throw that jab and boom. That's it, turn in the hand so it hits the knuckle part of the glove. So now you've got one, two. One, two. Now, you got to remember, you're not just throwing for the shoulders, you're throwing just the shoulders in your body. It's not enough power. You've got to create more power, and by that, you take it from the earth. So with that turn of that hip, you generate that power down, and you last a lot longer in the ring. So if I was going into a ring, Tony, what, what advice would you give me in terms of technique? Well, the technique how I'm to gonna, break down an opponent? Well, I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you all certain techniques that you must use to break someone down. Always try to outsmart your opponent. Make sure you're in charge. It's like a game of chess boxing. You've got to make him go where you want him to go. Then you've got him checkmate and then bang. That's the shot, that's a killing shot. And there's ways of doing that. Being quick with the jab, so it's one, two, cross. And then having the time to move that head and then know how to counter punch. You've got to know how to counter punch. So when he's throwing a shot, you can slip and then boom, 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 counter. Throwing the shots to the body and the solar plex. You, once you get hit in the solar plex, you don't want to get hit again. You, have you ever been hit in the solar plexus? No. Well, try and just put your hand here and then press it. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's the solar plexus. Hurt. That's hurt. That's hurt. I'd rather get it on the chin. That's where I would show my boys to try to hit the solar plexus. So you take the head shot and then boom, but it's right between yeah. there. Feel that? That's, gonna hurt. that's yeah, it. Yeah. So that's a, that's a shot. If you can hit there, boom. They're gone. Now, we're going to be moving because you're going to be moving while you're boxing. So there, one, two, one, two, step back. One, two, hook. That's it. Some young people just don't understand the talent that they've got. Women as well, you know? Good talent. Unbelievable. But without going to the right places to make sure you nurture that talent, it's going to be lost because they're not coached into letting them know they're the best. I don't know how much talent I actually have but I have got a better sense today of how important it is to feel encouraged and feel safe and secure with your coach. We'll find out in the next few days whether the IOC think women's boxing is ready for the Olympics, and if so, how they plan to integrate it into the men's competition. And if women's boxing does get that nod of approval, as long as Sport England continues to invest more in girls' and women's coaching, along with the men's, we should be well represented at the London Games. On guard, let's go. One, two, 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 one